Bună seara! Astăzi am onoarea să vă fac cunoștință cu fizicianul care a câștigat Nobelul pentru Chimie în 2014. Domnul Ștefan Hel a copilărit în România, s-a născut la Arad și a urmat la Timișoara același liceu unde a învățat și Herta Müller, laureata Nobelului pentru Literatură din 2009. Domnule Hel, bine ați venit la interviurile telejurnalului. Bună seara! Vă simțiți român? Vorbiți românește? Vorbesc, uh, dar uh, prefer să răspund în limba engleză pentru interviu. M-am născut aici, în România, am făcut primii pași în viață în România, am petrecut copilăria în România, am, am primit educația de bază în România și, și nu sunt român român, dar sunt uh, german din România și vă simt foarte aproape de România. Aveți sufletul aici? Avem și, și sufletul aici. Am citit că descoperirea dumneavoastră va ajuta în tratarea unor boli genetice și chiar a cancerului. Este adevărat? I think um, what I've made, I made a discovery that has led to, um, to see uh, with very, very high clarity into cells. And every living being consists of cells. And if you understand how a cell works, then we understand what a disease means. And this is the first step to, to fight a disease. Simt nevoia să explicăm telespectatorilor că descoperirea dumneavoastră dă puteri, noi puteri microscopului, astfel încât nici o celulă să nu rămână necercetată. Actually, you can see what is going on in the cell on the molecular level, and this was not really possible before. You must understand that every disease is a, a malfunctioning of, of the cell, so molecules do the wrong thing. And once we understand what is going wrong, then we can do something. Pe lângă activitatea dumneavoastră academică, universitară și științifică, sunteți și director al Centrului German pentru Cercetări contra Cancerului. Există așadar șanse să puneți în practică această tehnică a dumneavoastră? This is actually the reason why I work in the German Cancer Research Center, because we want to uh, give this technology that we have developed into the hands of medical doctors, medical researchers, Um, I think it's important to understand for everyone that uh, the chances we have to defeat a disease such as cancer really depends on the discoveries that people make in the coming years. So, yeah, I have also a personal history. My mother died of, of cancer and this is one of the motivations to help scientists discover things that help fighting the disease. Și pentru că și în România sunt peste 420 de mii, conform ultimelor statistici, bolnavi de cancer și anual se descoperă alte 96 de mii de persoane, există vreo șansă să fie implementată și aici o descoperire a dumneavoastră? I would be glad if this happened. It's important that mankind knows and the information how to treat the disease will, will um, spread very quickly. Credeți că în viitorul apropiat va fi eradicat cancerul? Nu știu. <laughs> My experience is sometimes in science discoveries are made where no one expected them to happen. This was also in, in my case, no one expected that. And you never know. At some point somebody may, may discover something very, very important and then um, cancer may not be that terrible as it is now. Și pentru că atunci când vorbești despre bol, nu te gândești doar la ultimele descoperiri științifice, ci și la Dumnezeu. Ați simțit vreodată ca om de știință că, dincolo de formule, mai există ceva? Of course, I'm a scientist and I'm going to reply as a scientist. I'm thinking, of course, in the first place about the, the facts that surround me and, and nature. But, of course, I'm a person, I have personal feelings. And, uh, of course, um, I was raised in Santana and in Județ Arat, uh, of course, as a, as, as a Christian, and I still have those roots uh, in my heart. Mergeați la biserică când erați mic? Uh, am mers la biserică, da. da. Ați emigrat la 15 ani, legal cu familia, ceea ce putem spune că înseamnă faptul că Ceaușescu a vândut familia dumneavoastră Germaniei și Așa se spune, da. pentru fiecare membru al familiei a câștigat România între 2900 de mărci și 4000. A fost o afacere bună? Astăzi am spune că a nu, că v-am Germania, <laughs> da. Dar nu știu. Știați acest lucru? Am auzit faptul ăsta când am fost în, în România, da. V-ați simțit jignit? At that time, to be honest, I wanted to leave the country because I had realized that the communist system at that time will take away the future of the people uh, from Romania. It wasn't easy because we didn't have relations in, uh, in Germany, so we were the first out of our family to move um, to Germany and 
one of the reasons or the official reason why we could leave was that uh, my mother was sick, um, had tumors, and so one of the doctors recommended um, to, to move to Germany because she may get better treatment in Germany. And um, that happened in 1978 after some problems. Vă gândeați vreodată că vă veți întoarce în România? Of course, when, when I left, I, I thought that of course I would, I would come back at some time. As I said, I mean, I have my, I have my roots here and when I left, I had all my family left, uh, apart from my parents. But then, of course, I had to struggle to establish in, in Germany and, and to go to university and so on. And um, my relatives, they, they moved to Germany in the 80s. When um, I heard that there is a chance that we get back the house of my parents, uh, I insisted actually on my parents to try to get back the house they built. Cine locuiește acolo acum? We decided to, to leave the house to neighbors. Um, they don't have to pay rent, so they just live there and keep the house in place and my father sends part, sometimes a bit of money to, to them to keep the house in place and renovate. It's a good um, recollection of that time. Dar poate vă întoarceți la pensie? I would not exclude to find a, to find a place in Romania where I, I would come, come more often and um, I may do that, yes. Um, so I'm actually thinking if, if there's a nice place somewhere where I could come with my family and um, and with my kids, and the kids are still very small. Sunteți și un tată împlinit? Câți copii aveți? Am patru copii, da. Two sons, um, uh, ten years old, a uh, girl six years old, and a little boy two months old. Să so, vă trăiască. Mulțumesc. Ați început școala la Sântana, apoi ați urmat un an liceul din Timișoara, liceul german, pe care l-a urmat și Hertha Müller. Ați simțit vreodată că v-a ajutat școala românească să deveniți ceea ce sunteți acum? A fost o bază care a fost importantă în Germania Federală? A fost foarte importantă. It was very difficult to get into this Nicolaus Lenau um, liceu uh, pe atunci. And I was very happy to get in because it was a very, very good school and it was a strong competition. Uh, there was also a little Olimpiada de fizică. And um, I didn't have connection. So half of the children there, they were either the kids of the party boss or, or the kid of the primar or, or the, this type of, of kids. And I was a person that didn't have any protection, no amo uh, pile. And I had to really work hard to, to, um, to survive, so to speak, and without any, any su support. It turned out to win that, um, that competition, so uh, in physics. And this, this definitely um, strengthened my view that I may have talent for that and I may want, I want to become a physicist. And I remember very clearly the day when I left the school, um, so I went to, to, to say goodbye to all the teachers. And then there was a, a physics teacher uh, at Lenau, and then he said to my mother, I'm happy for him to leave because many people want to leave, but on the other hand, I'm sorry to say we are losing our best physicist. In Germany, exists this word "pile" or this system? Nuclear exists, and I think in, in Germany, uh, the system at that time and today also is, is, is very meritocratic. So if you work hard, and, um, and then you can make your way up. Credeți că în cazul în care ați fi rămas aici, ați fi ajuns tot unde sunteți acum? Ar fi fost mai greu, da. Din cauza acestui sistem? Din cauza sau? acestui sistem. Um, and, and it's of course clear that, I mean, uh, Germany was already a very developed country. I mean, here uh, the country, in Romania at the time, was suff suffocated actually by the communist regime, by the fact that the Soviet Union has moved forward, putting its power on, on the countries here of uh, the eastern part of Central Europe. and. And this was certainly an impediment. Se poate reproșa învățământului românesc tocmai ceea ce ne-ați povestit, că nu încurajează destul elevii meritoși? I think the system at that time was not that bad. So the education was very stringent. And um, of course there have always been kids that, that were protected and they got good marks simply because they were son of somebody. And so this, this existed. But uh, in my view, in general, the system was good. When I came to Germany, I was in a very good school in Germany. I was better prepared in, in the natural sciences and mathematics than, than the average good German, German pupil at that time, except the languages. Not personally. Actually, I wanted to see her just a couple of weeks ago in Berlin. We were supposed to meet, but um, for some reason it, it didn't work out. But she sent me a book uh, with um, very nice uh, 
words and I look forward to seeing her soon at some point. Ce ați întreba-o dacă ați vedea-o, având în vedere că aveți în comun copilăria în România? Sigur, sure, da. I admire her for what she did. I mean, um, uh, as far as I understand from what she wrote, I mean, she, she is from a little village in, in, in Badat and from a family where culture or education in literature or something, things like that, were perhaps not that much appreciated as she write. This was not the case in my case, so my... My mother was a teacher, my father was an engineer. So in, in our house, our house was full of books. And so we, we cherished education very much. So, so my parents and grandparents, they pushed education. So they wanted, also because they lost a lot in 45, everything was taken away and, and, and already 45, my um, grandmothers were deported to Soviet Union in, in, in 45. And so there was a, It was a traumatized situation, and to say the only thing that stays with you is what you know. And so this came back again. So when I left in, in Germany, the only thing that we could take was uh, actually what we had in our, in, uh, what the education we had in our head. And I also want to convey this to my kids. To say, Știu că țineți legătura cu mediul academic din România, sunteți chiar uh, membru de onoare al Academiei Române. Ce părere aveți despre cercetarea românească? I had a discussion today with. Um, with um, a British scientist. Um, uh, I gave a lecture at the Romanian Academy this morning and so I've known this British colleague for many, many years and he was totally enthusiastic. He was saying that he had a discussion actually with some um, scientist engineer from a little company making little lenses for cell phones. And he said, oh, these are young people, they're enthusiastic, they do great jobs and he likes to work with them. And this is the new Romania and he was very happy to to see this new Romania coming up and Romania is a is a it's a great country it's, it's very attractive to live here when things are are done properly cum e văzută știința românească în occident there are groups that are visible that, that i can see in many areas um, i have um, friends in Göttingen where i work um, i would like to mention one of them uh, his name is Silvio Rizzoli he's actually from Bucharest um, And um, I should say that he was the first who worked with me to apply the microscope in the biological sciences. He's a biologist. And so the first paper that does this demonstration that this high resolution microscopy works in the life sciences, really key paper, is done actually in a collaboration between you and him. And he sometimes jokes saying that there's two guys from Romania who had to do Um, to do this in order to make a difference in science. A fost decorat de președintele României, care întâmplător este de etnie germană, ca și dumneavoastră. Simțiți că vă leagă acest lucru? Am vorbit în limba germană cu președintele. I was very impressed with the president, I must say. So we were discussing about things that I was offering, maybe some, some aspects in which I can help Romanian science, just for the reason you mentioned. And I would be very pleased to help um, Romanian science to make a uh, make progress and the visibility that I have now in the world um, uh, should place me in a position that, that, that I could do that. Ați primit Nobelul chiar din mâinile regelui Suediei, iar astăzi seară veți primi cea mai înaltă distinție regală de la regele Mihai, care vă va fi mânată de principesa moștenitoare fica regelui. Simțiți vreo emoție pentru acest lucru? It is an emotional uh, act, no doubt. Of course, I didn't experience the, the regal house when I was here because at, at that time it was something that, that was not talked about. But I learned, and what I saw is that the uh, royal house played a quite important role to help Romania becoming part of um, the European Union, of NATO. I very much personally appreciate that and so So in accepting this, uh, this huge honor that they're going to bestow on me, I would also like to kind of appreciate and recognize their efforts, the efforts of the Royal House in, um, in the recent past for Romania. Vă mulțumesc că ați acceptat invitația noastră. Mă simt onorată că v-am cunoscut și voi încheia cu speranța că orice descoperire ne va ajuta Mulțumim și telespectatorilor că ne-au urmărit. Eu sunt Camelia Cichi și vă doresc o seară minunată. La revedere!